A dream you dream alone is only a dream. A dream you dream together is reality. A dream doesn't become reality through magic. It takes sweat, determination and hard work. So, back in our happy place, in our <laughs> new kitchen. Um, the formula I use it though, I've got to get all the credons, the, the backsplash done. So I'm going to get all that tiled today, hopefully. Yep. Fingers crossed. Um, get it all on, see how it looks, make sure you're happy with it. I think we've chose the right colours. Um, yeah, they're not anything obviously wow, but we don't want to draw the attention away from the beams or the kitchen. No. The whole reason we're going for sink, like bland, sort of speak these ones obviously, these metro tiles, is purely because we don't want to take the attention away from everything else. No, absolutely, that's the whole point of it. And like I say, we've got this colour as well because it ties in with the colour of the sink. Yeah. So it pulls it all together. And then the trim that we've got as well, which is a nice, just neutral, again, it won't draw your attention away. No. And I know what everyone said about building the tiles right the way up. I personally don't like that at all. And I think it'd give it a focus to this wall, which, I really don't want to do. Well, I was looking here afterwards. I didn't even know if to just bring it up to the extractor and then down. Or did it look a bit odd? I think it'd just look a bit odd. Yeah. I like the three all the way along. I've got that. If we don't like it, again, we can add to it. There's no... Yeah, do three for now and then we can add yeah, more on. If it's not right, then we, we add more on afterwards. I'm not precious about it. Yeah. I'm not precious about that at all. Yeah, I so, think that's a good idea. We'll see how so, it Yeah, bashing on with the tiling. Yes. Terry's had me watching lots of YouTube videos. Yeah, because you want to do it yourself. I want to do it all myself. I want to get it all looking nice. And we're staggering them so they're offset every oh, 20. Offset by a third. So they are eight inches long. Oh. So every two and a half inch or so. Yeah. Um, it'll be offset by one. Yeah, just so we don't get straight lines. Yeah, I don't, straight, I don't like straight lines anyway. And there's no straight lines in this, this building, so it'd look odd if we finally put straight lines somewhere. Oh, people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there's that as well. So, Ash is doing that. I'm going to get on with the skating board. I've just cut that one down to get that one on. I need to cut this one. And then we have boxed that window in. Yes, which I think looks amazing. Just need sanding down now. Yeah, so I can sand that, paint that. That looks a million times better than what it did already. Yeah, tidy. Yeah. And then we need to solve the problem with this window. I think st I think painting it the same colour, everyone's yeah. right with that. It's going to draw your attention if you stain it. I think so. The authentical will be... And again, we'll be doing authentical up to that window, so to do it to that window... It's going to blend in. Yeah, definitely. But now we've cleaned the window, see if you can see it. <laughs> The view is just beautiful, just study here. While you're washing the pots, just looking out, it's absolutely amazing. I'll fill in the dishwasher, by the way. Yeah, I'll fill in the dishwasher. Because that's what I look, I can see. You can see? Oh. See why you cook, see why you cook. Yeah, and Patrick's got his bed in here, he's happy. Yeah. Bless him. He's got a bed in every room. <laughs> <laughs> Bless him. Right, so we'll crack on with this, I think. They're the last jobs to get done on there. I think that window, the credits and the oh. paint the window. If I get a chance as well while you're cracking on with this, because you've got that side to do as well. Yeah. I might go and do the dining table, get that waxed. Yeah, because So idea. we can get that up here. Yeah. It'll take me three hours on this one. The, yeah. the hard bit's gonna be the cut and I'll do all the easy bits first. Right. And then I'll do this afterwards. Brilliant. Well we'll bash on. Like I said, we'll get ooh, tiles going on already. <sighs>
So flying through it, it's going on really well. I'm really happy with how it's looking. Yeah, it is. It's looking brilliant. Except obviously we'll get to the end and we'll see what we think to the free tiles or if to carry on a bit higher. Mm -hmm. I am liking it. I, I think maybe up to there might be quite nice. I like it like that. Yeah. I like it like that. Not because I don't do the work, just that's how I envisaged it in my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't see things very well in my head, but the, the kitchen's the one thing that I've had absolute clarity with. Yeah. <laughs> Even though you didn't pick any of these colours? No! <laughs> but I've understood what's going on in here, because I've been a part of every step of it. Normally it just hands it over to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't get involved, whereas I've had yeah, the it's same it. every single piece of this. So. It's worked well. That's we've done well together. Yeah. Um, but. That leads on to Terry doing these bits. I don't do intricate. No. And see, so we've kept her a plug, and it's like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll break more than I'll manage to do anything with, so. Yeah. So we've just pulled the plug away from the back box, um, so we can get actually behind it, sort of give it a, a nicer finish when we put the fascia plate on the front. And to cut the tiles, all we're gonna do is we're gonna put some masking tape over the front of it, and then that'll give us, obviously, a two benefits for it. One, we'll be able to draw the section that we need to cut out because mm -hmm. it'll be on mask and tape. And two, it'll stop it from chipping as much as well when we're actually cutting it. So um, it'll be, be good. Yeah, we, we've done the first one there. It's worked yep. really well. Sat on really nice. I think it's going to give us the effect that we're wanting with it. So yeah, really good. Yeah, this makes it working. But this is literally, this is what, 40 minutes? Yeah, so on this on on. And again, this is the first time I've ever tiled, so I don't think we're doing too badly. No, 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 it's going good. Mm -hmm. You're doing very well. Thank you. Very well indeed. So I'll get this mask and tape on, and then, like I said, that'll help us um, mark off where we want to cut it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Two centimeters there. Need a little bit of this one. That's good. Seven up. Seven up. Seven up. I could do with a nice lemonade. Then. <laughs> nice lemonade. Nice gin and lemonade. I don't do gin, Terry. I was going to say that's the girls think that's offensive. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be bothered getting a ruler, so I'm just using this. <laughs> there we go. That is the section that we need out. So once that's cut out, it'll just fit straight behind the tile. And then, like I said, it's, it saves us cut, like trying to cut around and it getting messy and stuff like that. Once it's the ground done, will look awful if we do it that way. Yeah, at least we can put the facial plate straight on and then it's just a nice clean finish then with it. Yeah. So we're going to cut this one. I'll mark the other ones off as well. And maybe you can cut some. No. <laughs> right, we'll crack on. So Terry's giving me tiles back. It's now okay, so getting them all fit in and I can carry along the rest of the way and he's only got a couple of little ones to do at the end and then ones and that's this wall done. How good? The well, be sure. Have confidence.
happy days, look at that. You pleased? Oh, the moon. <laughs> Again, I've never done that like this before, so it's quite rewarding. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you crack on with the rest. Take them out. Only a few more to go. We've got some more cuts to do, haven't we? Yep, just a few. We have to go all the way down the garage to cut them. Just a little bit. Just a little. It's only like a half mile there and back. Oh. I don't know what you're on about. The reason we're going all the way down there is just so we can keep all the dirt and dust down there rather than bring it up here and having all the bits of tiles all over and stuff. Yeah, the cat's eating my spaces. Could you have word with her, please? She's playing with them. Hi, Fendi. <laughs> right, come on then. So we're busy up here. Mama's busy in the 400 salon, isn't she? Yep. It's looking good though. She's done an amazing job with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's really cracking on. So we'll be actually more of that soon. Um, oh yeah. Stair. Just a few, it's only 50 stairs at a time. I don't know what you're interested about. Yep, yeah, get that. Well, what we're doing with that, sanding it and staining it, or just staining it? No, we'll just put some of the wax on, we'll put some of the liver on, and some yeah. of the gill boys on. Nice one. Um, just to help bring some of the colour back. Keep us nice and fit. It's not trying to. Piling the pounds on being here, is there? <laughs> what we need all our chocolates. <laughs> when people send us chocolate, we'd love it because we have to eat so much. <laughs> it's energy. Right. Safety first, Terence. Safety first. So I'm just using the ceramic cutter for the grinder because it's just a lot easier than. Yeah. Because we have to get in. So well. Considering I've seen us do this before with tiles and yeah. you lose probably 10-15% of tiles I think you've broke a single one yet with that cutter, have you? Well, touch wood. Touch wood. This we go. <laughs> there we go, you'll break this one now. I know. <laughs> but yeah, normally we'll have like a proper electric tile cutter but because we've got like loads of funny cuts it's just easy just using this. So, i get these done.
Thank you very much. Come on then, we'll go. Come on then. So, I think it looks amazing. I can't believe what we've managed to get done and how quickly we've managed to get through it as well. Yeah, it's been brilliant. Obviously, it just finishes that off as well, and it's exactly how we want it. Mm -hmm. No lot of you said to go all the way up, but there's a couple of problems with that. Obviously, one, because the extractor fan and the unit are both different heights, and they've got gaps between them. Yeah. So, if we did, it would be all staggered in it. And then we'd have to either, the, other than that, we'd have to do the whole wall. Yeah. And I think that it just detracted away from what we want, with the beams we want to make the feature. And I think yeah. we'd have took away from that if we'd have done that. Yeah. So. And the good thing with the Authentico paint is that it is scrubbable. So if we do get any splashbacks on the back, then it just comes straight off. I'm anyway. not that messy a chef, so <laughs> I'm sure I'm not going to get curry up here. <laughs> well, <laughs> we'll see. Know, well. <laughs> But yeah, well, Ash has done an amazing job with that. Why he's done that, I've managed to get the window painted. So I've got all of the surround painted for that one and the little skylight as well. Yeah, you've done brilliant. And you've got around the door done as well because that was a bit scruffy coming in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've got boxed in there. I still need to give it one more sand and then when my amazing auntie comes over, she can give it a lick of gloss. Yeah. And then we've got the skirting on as well. Yeah, all the skirting's on. Yeah. So the last thing to do, we need to give the floor its last coat of varnish. Yeah. Which we're going to clean, get done now, and then we can start bringing all our furniture up.
it's been, what a couple of days we've had over the weekend, it's been brilliant hasn't it? Yeah, if we just look back from what it was like last week. This time last week, this was just a shell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much has changed with getting it painted, getting the kitchen in, getting obviously all the tiles on. Yeah, the windows sorted around the door. It just, it felt like there was a hundred jobs to do. Yeah. And now there's literally, it's done. It is, it's all done now. So we've got all of the last little bits. I don't think there's anything left to do, is there? No, it's, it's literally, it's done. Apart from moving. Yeah. Get all the little furniture, the legs. <laughs> Chopping boards and pans and... Yeah, well everything's still in storage and it's been there for... Two and a half years. Two and a half years since we obviously sold our house in the UK and packed everything up and put it in storage. Because we didn't even take it to the other house, did we? It's literally, well it'll be three years, coming up three years. Yeah. That's been, all been in storage now. It's crazy. So it'll be good to get all that out and... Remember what we've got. Yeah, remember <laughs> what we've got and start piecing it together and put it in here. So I think that'll be the next thing that we're going to get sorted. We're going to go rummaging in the big barn. Yep. And start pulling all of the bag <coughs> of furniture out. Yep. Which would be good. And we I've seen a couple of comments about <coughs> us not having electric, enough electrical points. Oh. I don't know whether we've showed you. It's saying there's not enough on the work surfaces. All the work surface ones are for purely for um, like microwave, kettle, toaster. We've got another eight, nine electrical points around the room. Yeah, there's there's plenty around. Like I said, the ones on here, we haven't got many here, you're right, there's only two there, but that's purely just to keep it nice and tidy so it's mm -hmm. not cluttering at all, so we're, we can plug so things in there. My coffee maker, the kettle, the toaster, and the microwave. And yeah, that. to be honest, I don't even think we might get a microwave. I was looking at it and I thought, well, we might not even get one. It'd probably be worth getting one just to have, but I'm not, we're not desperate for them. No, we'll see. They're just big and ugly. Oh, you get nice ones too. We'll see. We'll see. So yeah, well we've got the double sockets there, there's some this side, there's some under the work surface, the, uh, the breakfast, breakfast bar. bar, there's one on top of the breakfast bar, there's another two over there, and then there's another two over here, so there's absolutely <laughs> plenty. Um, we haven't got that many things to plug in. No. <laughs> we've done, we've made it so every room is going to be functional. Yeah. So yeah, we yeah. can be, put stuff on charge stuff easy on. and just use stuff, so. Yeah, it is, it's amazing. So, like I said, it's... Finally, finally done. So we can get the furniture up here, mm -hmm. and then I think the next stage will be to cook my first meal, cook the first meal, and crack on um, with the hallway. So we can get all that sorted. We can get the carpet runner finally down, mm -hmm. and all the dust's finished up here. Yeah. Give everywhere a good, good clean, mm -hmm. and then yeah, we're almost done up here. Third floor done. I can't believe it. Yeah. Honestly, can't believe it. Just, again, when you look at it, when you actually look at how much time we've spent up here, it's only been about a year yeah. that we've solidly worked up here to get to this point. To get done. Mm -hmm. it's, it's absolutely mental. Well, yeah, well, yeah. we'll crack on now with some cows. Start hoying everything up here now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we'll go down to the barn now, have a little look. Yeah. And join us for the next video. Yeah, which will be Friday. Yeah, it'll be Friday, and hopefully we'll be able to show you it all dressed and finished. With all our little treasures. So excited. I know, we are. We've done well. <laughs> right, well, we will see you on Friday. And don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. Obviously, it massively helps us when you do do it. Click the bell for notifications. Yeah, and obviously, we do get back to as many comments as we can. So please do comment because we do enjoy reading them. Yeah. Um, because they do come up, we just try to get back to as many as we can. So let us know to how you think the kitchen's turned out. Yeah. Um, and we'll try and get some pictures and videos of how it looks because in the camera you just don't get... You don't get the gist of how big this actually is, this space now. No. And no. how well proportioned it's all been done. And just looking up at the, the beams and stuff like that, yeah. that's the main focus. On an evening, honestly, yeah. when you come in and yeah. It is. Anyway, we'll let you go. We'll get you some nice videos and we'll see you on Friday. See you Friday. Bye. If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon, where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history, and get exclusive videos.